And welcome to my Let's Play Valheim series. It's episode 22, and off cam I got attacked by a whole bunch of gray dwarfs. It was a raid on my first base. I actually handled them pretty well. Um, also, I realized that they added new items since uh, the last time I played. Uh, I got these new. Uh, I got this new item called puke berry. Puke berries allows the consumer to quickly evacuate any misplaced meal and start anew, which that's awesome. So like, if I eat something and I didn't want to eat it, I could just eat that berry and I could puke it up, because I I thought that was pretty neat. And there's also timers on the actual food that you eat now as buffs. So this episode, we are actually going to reach the elder and build a base. So we're actually going to do some exploring, trying to get there. We're actually going to be running real quick there. Because it seems like it's somewhat far. And yeah, they also added numbers in the stamina bar. And they made the stamina a little bit smaller. Stamina bar a little bit smaller. Which I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, so cannot wait because... We're, in this episode, we're going to just build a base, get it done and over with. Uh, a quick base, more like a crafting table with a with a with a building. So I also also made some fire arrows as well, and I already have the wood prepared. So we're just going to go straight there. This is pretty much an, uh, an exploration episode. <laughs> Which, I pretty much explored a lot of this area here, but not here, so. And boars seem to attack me like they think they're going to win. Oh, look, an abandoned tower? Yeah, I actually marked that on my map. So. You can never have too many raspberries. My uh, word of advice to you is always, always, always pick up items as you go along. And uh, this would be a great spot to make a repair station at. Just in case if you, well, if I need it. I don't know why I said you, the viewer. You need it. That's what you, you need it. Nah. So. Get on over. To the next boss fight. Going to kill me a giant tree. I think that's what it's I think that's what it is. It's a giant tree. I I killed the boss before on an actual server with some friends of mine. And uh, we did quite well. It was uh, pretty ferocious. But I, I noticed uh, in the first from the first bosses that they uh, they toned down the bosses a bit in single player, which is uh, quite nice. Oh, we're hitting snowy biome. Ooh, that's a no good. That is not good at all. So we gotta go around this snowy biome. Yeah, that is not good. I hope this biome isn't huge. I mean, we haven't even touched the uh, black forest yet. Which is somewhat of a good thing. Don't have to deal with trolls. Which I have yet to... Kill a troll in this character. Not yet, anyways. I've seen a couple, and I tried to, like, hide from them. There's just no way I could take them out. Well, considering that I have armor, uh, bronze armor now, I think I could take one out. Maybe. Alright. So we're going to make a slight turn here. Oh, here's some uh, black forest. There we go, and I bet you, ooh, copper deposit, I will actually mark this on my map real quick, uh, copper deposit, cool, and of course there is water, oof, but my question is, can I go around? I might be able to. Who knows? We're going to give this a shot. 
Oh yeah, also I brought all the food I can muster. I even brought honey, and honey is such a good food to use. Because I got one of the beehives at my uh, starter base. I only have one though, sadly, and I there are so many beehives around that area. It's not even funny. Uh-oh. Whoop. Run away. I don't want to waste time. Time is of the essence. So... Oh, we're actually real close to the Elder. Real close. It's on my mini-map. That is good. That is good to know that I can go around. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there right now. Come on. Is that another copper vein? Nah, that can't. Oh, yeah, that is another copper vein. Yeah, I'm going to mark this on my map. And this stupid gray dwarf won't leave me alone. That is the major issue with Valheim, is that the aggro in this game is horrendous. They'll chase you to the ends of the earth, and it's kind of terrible. That's my one uh, gripe about this game. I do like this game a lot, though. To pause I. I hate when I, like, misspell words. There we go. Coolio. All right. Now, onwards to the Elder, which we are very close, which that is exciting. I just hope there's no crazy, massive troll around the area. You know, honestly, I thought this uh, travel would be a little more intense. But, uh, I guess not. Ah, oh. Oh, oh, there's a tower nearby? No. And there's a gray dwarf nest, too. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to definitely set up camp at this base. Because <laughs> I don't have to uh, use all of the wood to make a shelter, which is nice. And I'm going to try to jump in there. Nice. And it's practically about the same uh, landscape. Ooh, this is new. I like how much larger this is. This is nice. And there's new uh, items too. Um, from this from this update, I haven't really like looked at them yet, but I, I definitely will. And I need a crafting table. Where can I get the crafting table? Thank you. This is what I need. Cool. I don't understand. Uh, raggle, fraggle. Crafting needs a roof. You don't need a roof. You're just. No. Stop. Die. Jeez. Alright. Back to what I was doing. Let's see. Perfect. This is why I wanted a door first. Are you kind of stuck? You know what? Let's just make this. Don't have to deal with it yet. <laughs> Don't want to deal with them yet. Uh, see if I can make a door. There we go. Cool. They can break through that and then door. Cool, I now have a door. Got a craft. Actually, got a crafting station. Everything's pretty much set up. Except that I have uh, two screaming gray dwarves who want to rip out my flesh out there. Yeah, isn't that nest over there? I gotta take care of that real quick. See if I can... Oh my gosh. This is like as big as the, the, the raid I had to deal with earlier. <sighs> okay. And there's the... There's the Elder over there. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this. My luck, huh? Oh yeah, crap, I forgot to get the trophies. Well, <laughs> I gotta definitely go back soon. 
Ooh, they hit harder than the ones from the raid. Doesn't help that I, uh... Come on. Jeez Louise, there's way too many of them. I should have dealt with this problem first hand before I made that crafting station. Alright. We're gonna go around. Yeah, we're gonna have more. Yeah, I figured this is gonna happen. Come on. Let's grab some stamina. Holy cow! There are way too many of them. Oof, there's a whole army. Oh, lagging. Cool. At this time? Woo! Too many of them. But I gotta destroy this uh, nest. Ugh. Come on, I'm tired of this stamina reduction. Come on! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get bombarded here. Isn't there a limit to how many can spawn? Like, this is a bit much for me. I might die. Ow, ow, okay, cool. Come on, give me some stamina at least. Run. Oh, cool. Oh, well that's a much quicker uh, increase and time from getting that power up. I'm just trying to... Yeah, okay, cool. Now I can deal with this whole army of gray dwarves in the best way I can. Aren't, don't they, like, run away if they see fire? I'm gonna give this a shot here. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still alive. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oof. Well, I'm definitely going to have to repair my armor after this, so I have to go all the way back. Neat. I wasn't expecting a Grey Dwarf. And maybe make myself some more arrows. Yeah, this is a survive, survive thing. <laughs> At least I can outrun them by walking. That's nice. Oh, I hate getting stuck. No, I don't want to get stuck. Terrible place to get stuck. Come on. Jeez. There should be a limit to how many monsters spawn. Like, this is utterly ridiculous. It's... Honestly, I'm not... I'm not dying. And the brutes are ridiculous right now. Maybe it can run away. I don't want to go in the water. That's not a good idea. Yeah, I was not expecting this. Eee. Ah, stupid tree. No, I like that fog effect. That's pretty neat. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oi, oi. Ah, 
Got one, finally. Not trying to die, that's the issue. Come on, this might take a while. I'm gonna actually face this group of monsters. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot. You'll never take me alive, I suppose. Got one, finally. I don't know what happened to the brutes, but they're gone. It's nice that I can take a break from the actual brutes. Oh my goodness, are they running away? These rocks are annoying. I get some stamina. Ooh, double kill. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, don't attack me. Oh, that was a big hit. Alright, there's only two left. I don't know what happened to the others. But... Whatever. <laughs> Actually, let's not. Nope, not. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <sighs> of course, run out of stamina. At least shoot the arrow when I'm out of stamina. At least. That'd be nice. Oh my gosh. Just because of. Oh, arger. There's only two left, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Be patient. Just be patient. Just be patient. Just ignore the rocks. You got this. Oh, finally. Whew. That sure was a tough battle. Holy cow. I don't know what happened to the rest of them. I really don't. But, um... Uh, I think I'm going to end this episode. <laughs> I, uh, I took care of a dwarf nest nearby the elder. I think that's, uh, I think that calls it for this episode. Uh, I'm definitely going to prepare more. And, uh, oh yeah, I got a lot, a lot of resin, so I can definitely get some more arrows. Um, maybe, uh, ooh, 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 hide, 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 hide. Maybe even get, uh, a forge up here just so I don't have to walk all the way over there. Anywho, thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching my little shenanigan right, shenanigan right there. Um, please like and subscribe. I upload videos every Friday. And uh, I hope you all have a good night.